I'm on a journey to find the best MMO for casual players like me. For more details on how I'll be doing this, there's a link in the description to another video, but the short version is this. I'm going to be playing a bunch of different MMOs for 30 to 60 minutes each week, documenting my experiences, sharing them with you, and eventually we'll come to a conclusion. In each game, I will be creating a human warrior or the closest approximation to a human warrior named Filthy Casual Kyle. Today, we're diving into Guild Wars. Oh boy, it's finally here. It's time to play Guild Wars on the channel. My original MMO of choice. Uh, I mean, well, it was the only choice I had because back then I couldn't pay monthly for WoW. Paying monthly for a game was an absurd idea back then. What a time to be alive. <laughs> Anyways, I suspect that when we reach the end of this series, Guild Wars will be one of the better MMOs for casual players, specifically because you can recruit NPCs to fight along with you. What sounds more casual than that? <laughs> also because dual classing is freaking awesome and I wish Guild Wars 2 had it. Anyways, let's dive into Guild Wars 1 and see how it all began. <laughs> I forgot about this. I forgot that you had to download a zone before you went into it. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Guild Wars 1. It's a great first experiment, uh, first, first impression to have to download things. Oh, the music is very loud. Hold on. Huh. Okay, I got to turn that down in my ears. Uh... Okay, so we took a poll, we took a vote, and Albion Online was winning. But then the Guild Wars 2 fans were like, no, 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 we want to see the OG. <sighs> so here we are. Albion Online will, will likely be next because that did get quite a few votes. Uh, so I'm really excited, but I'm, I'm, I am really excited about Albion Online, but I'm even more excited about this. The last day dawns on the kingdom of Ascalon. It arrives with no fanfare, no tolling of alarms. Those who will remember will speak fondly of the warm morning breeze. People carry on with their daily lives, unaware that in a short while, Everything they have ever known will come to an end. Scribe? Yes, my lord. These Char are relentless, but we shall hold the wall at all costs. Yes, my lord. Take this message to Sir Titus. Go forth and recruit the strongest, the smartest. Bring to me the bravest in all of Ascalon. Find me the heroes who will lead our kingdom to glory. As you command, my king. Man, this brings back some great memories, not even just of Guild Wars 1, but like playing old MMOs. It just has that feel to it. The good and the bad. There we are. Oh boy. All right, are we ready? Ascalon Outpost. Any tutorials? Nothing? Boy. We're, <laughs> we're all alone. Normally, normally you log in and there's like, oh yeah, you can't jump in this one. Oh, that's a weird one. Oh boy. Okay, well, they're losing points a little bit because I don't have any tutorial now. Maybe it's possible that it's not giving it to me because I have other characters, I'm guessing, and maybe in the options. Uh, let's go through here, though, real quick. Check out some things. Oh, yeah, let's get that AA on. Screen's going to flicker. Everything else should be fine. Okay. Okay. Sound. Oh, we want that 
background audio volume. I'm assuming that's ambience. We all know Kyle loves his ambience. Let's turn the effects down. Dialogue up. UI down a little bit. Mute Guild Wars in the background. No, let's not worry about that. Oh, high quality, please. High quality. Shh. Oh. That just restarted the music. Do I want that? Whatever. Let's just leave it. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. So WASD to move. It's pretty, pretty obvious what we can do to do things. I believe we can also click left click. Oh, that's going to take some getting used to. Oh boy, with this music. Oh, it hits. Oh, it hits the nostalgia bug. Excuse me. You're filthy casual Kyle, aren't you? I'm Sir Titus. Uh, I, or I think Sir Titus was looking for you. He said he had some good news for you. I like good news. Can we talk to him again? Yes, we can. I'm curious, can we... Whoops. Can we increase text size at all for... Damage text size, text language... Possibly not. The interface is great, though, because it's like... it's. Oh, I love the way this interface works. Oh, I forgot all about that. I remember going from Guild Wars to WoW and being like, wait, you mean I can't adjust the interface at all? And what do we start with? A hammer. Yes. Excellent. Oh, yeah, let's take a look at our filthy casual Kyle. You didn't have any... Uh, there weren't any facial hair options. It's very sad about that. All right, Sir Titus, what can I do for you? There you are, my friend. I am glad you are here. I have news that I think you'll appreciate. I've been looking for you everywhere, filthy casual Kyle. Oh, you have. Um, the king has ordered a new offensive against the Char. This is your chance for glory and adventure, but you'll need to know more about your craft before going uh, north of the wall. Tell you what, travel to the northwest gate which will take you to Lakeside Country. Uh, I'll have Van the Warrior waiting for you outside. He can show you a trick or two. Thank you, Sir Titus. I won't let you down. All right, so we can tab between people. Wait, so are these... Are these players? <gasps> Wait. This shouldn't... There shouldn't be players in, in this area, I wouldn't think, unless they have a way to get back here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, I saw that name. That is, Those are definitely players. Interesting. I wonder how they come back to this area. Hmm. Alright, Van the Warrior. So, Guild Wars, by the way, for you new people, okay. Oh, when oh, here you go. When you adventure outside of town, you get your own private copy of the world. I love how they spin that as a positive thing, not as a, we're not technically an MMO. Technically. To play with a friend, simply form a party together before leaving town. Thank you, pop-up. All right, filthy casual Kyle. I was asked to see, uh, to see to it. You learned what it means to be a warrior. Uh, you've heard the stories, no doubt. Warriors are impossible to kill. They are capable of incredible feats of endurance, and they are deadly in close combat. Listen to what I have to say, and you just might learn how to accomplish all these feats and more. Beautiful. I have a little challenge in mind to prepare you for what it's like to be a warrior. Live through this, and you're well on your way. A horde of scale has appeared at the river. Get down there and take care of them. And I mean all of them. When you're finished, report back to me. Okay, and we can do left click, left click, right click to uh, to walk as well, which is always handy. I wonder, is this on Mac? Because the controls of this are right up my wife's alley. Okay, so and here's the other problem. Oh man, I, it's hilarious. How much I remember. Like, I, 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 I know exactly where I'm going. Okay, we can close that. Uh, okay, so let's take a look. Hold on. He just gave us a quest. Let's say we don't know what we're doing. We hit M, we get a map. 
It's nice, easy to read, a little blurry, but I think it, that's just the fog of war. Where we are is a bit clear. We can see which way we've walked. Um, and right, Lakeside County, we need to head down here south. Got it. But we've also got it on our radar up here with a nice little green arrow pointing for us. Oh, hello, Wilton. I'm on an errand to Ascalon. Try to catch me on the way home. Got it. Will do. Probably won't. All right, so here are the scale up here. Yes, yes. So can I just left click and go attack? Beautiful. Didn't see anything to loot on him. Now, do I have a quest log? Active quests. Oh, okay. I, it's just weird to not see it over here. I have to, like, grab it and do something with it, which is fine. That's cool. Can I resize it? <gasps> you could look, at you, look at this. Look at this. <sighs> I love that stuff. Whenever you enter a mission or walk through a shimmering portal into an explorable area, an independent space will be created just for you and your party. You can meet other players and form parties in towns and outposts. Okay, you kind of already explained that, but thank you for clarifying. No, no loot yet. No loot yet. Okay. Uh, any others? Oh, return to Van the Warrior. We killed them all. How far can we zoom out? Oh, yeah. Nice long distance. Already done, Wilton? It also cracks me up that there's a minimize window and close icons up here. Finally finished off all the scale, did you? Well, it took you long enough, but I've seen worse. Someday with the right training, you may make something of yourself. I'll start by giving you a couple of skills. Yes, I'm headed back to town, but I suspect uh, Haversden will arrive shortly to advise you about what to do next. Oh, look, there he is. Okay, so we got a couple of skills. Frenzy, stance, eight seconds. You attack 33% faster. And a healing signet, uh, you gain 82% health. You have minus 40 armor while using this skill. Oh, okay. You're the warrior Sir Titus was telling me about, aren't you? Well, I imagine he's right that, I, you, that you've got potential. But potential won't save you from a char firestorm. Experience will. I suggest you head southwest to Ashford and talk to Devona. She's bound to have a task or two for you. Thank you. All right, so heading south this way. Can we click on the side? Just fills it in at the top. Okay. I really do appreciate the UI in this. It's minimal, minimal, moldable. Like, look, I can go boop. And then like this health bar, right? Or my, or my experience bar. It doesn't need to be floating up there. What if I just tacked it on like maybe even down here, right? Get it out of the way a little bit. Like, I could put it up here maybe with those. Uh, yeah, I feel like that's a better place for it. Yeah, see, we got, we got the... the I'm, I'm the guy! I'm the guy! I want that clean HUD. I want it nice and clean. First thing I did in Zelda Breath of the Wild was hide that HUD. I mean, it's, look, it's clearly dated, but it's still pretty and stylistic. World's better than most other MMOs back there. Now, back then, but granted, this has received texture updates. Is my understanding anyhow. But this is essentially, <laughs> this is one of those situations where it's like, this is what I remember it looking like. I know it didn't look this good. One, because I didn't have a beefy computer back then. But two, because they have upgraded it. Now, can I walk and... Can I walk and move the... Ca hold on. Oh. Okay, so holding the middle mouse button and, and moving the mouse forward and back does this. Very drastically. I'm trying to move it ever so slowly. Interesting. There's not a way to walk and, like, 
see yourself walking. You know what I mean? Like in, from the front. Right, there's Devona. We got a water mill over there. Something's going on with the wolves. Hello, Devona. I'm glad you've come. I can't seem to shake the feeling that there's trouble on the horizon, and I'd be glad to have your help if and when it arrives. In the meantime, there are plenty of people here who need assistance with one thing or another, and I'm sure you'll find the lessons you learn here will be invaluable in the future. I've heard talk among the town folk of unsettling rumors coming from Mirak the Scribe. Instead of babbling to random strangers, he ought to send word to the authorities if he's uh, if he's come across anything, uh, something truly important, but I'm sure he's too engrossed in his books to think of anything practical like that. My duties in town keep me from looking into this matter, but if you could go to Ashford Abbey to the north and ask him about it, I'd appreciate it. Okay, oh, if you want to meet friends in town, you can move to the same district by using the drop-down menu at the top left corner of this. Okay, so these are just like timed, I guess. They're not like based on like what you're currently doing. That's interesting. Okay. So we need to head north up here to the Abbey. Got it. Oh, that's nice. Like, because there's no jumping, right? But if you if you run into something, like you, you just kind of keep moving around it. That's handy. Come back, Curly. <laughs> so what are these? Prize-winning hog. Striders. Okay. Allison the Tanner. Little Thorn has ordered a beer... A bear skin. Beer skin. Bear skin cloak. But I don't have a good bear pelt from which to make it. Okay. I need to go kill, kill a bear or two. Sounds like an MMO. Whoops, not K, L. What is K, though? K is skills and abilities. Good to remember that. I forgot you can, you have attribute points to spend. Yes, I love that in a game. Oh, boy, oh, boy, do I love that in a game. Right, so we need to go kill bears out this way. I believe this is a, like, a resurrection shrine. So if you die, you appear here. Turning is nice and smooth with the keyboard. I really appreciate that. There's something up there to attack. Oh, it's hard. Oh, the camera is. Ooh, the camera's not wanting me to do that. I'm just curious what this is up here I can fight. Scales. Oh, okay. Well, we need to head through here. Yep, get that download, or sorry, not download, decompress. All right, Wizard's Folly. All right, not sure where we're going in here. I'm guessing the bears are just gonna be here. Nope, those are elementals. There's a bear over there. Go take on an elemental, though. Or two, for that matter. The sound is nice and nice and thuddy. Interesting that they're not um, aggressive. I would have thought they would have been. I don't love the starting skills. Like, it's just swing hammer faster. But... It's fine. I I did have a warrior. My main was an elementalist necro. Ah, uh, you're aggressive. But I did have a warrior necro. This time I'm not gonna do warrior necro. I'm gonna do warrior something else. Oh, are you not nice to me? Oh, bandit bloodsworn. Okay. Oh, she. Oh. Did she heal the bear? I'm gonna die. We're about to learn about death. 
I mean, thankfully, I can just keep on healing myself pretty quickly. That mana goes up pretty fast. All right, if I could just get the bear down, that'd be great. I do kind of appreciate that this isn't, like, super easy. And it's teaching me avoid multiple enemies for the moment. All right, there we go. Now let's take her on. How hard is she by herself? I'll say this too, though. The cooldown on these is fast. And like, I'm able to keep using them. Like I'm not running out of uh, mana. Almost there. There we go. Ooh, I got a horn bow. Unidentified. Very nice. There's another bear back here. You have just obtained a new weapon. Open your inventory by clicking the menu button and then selecting the inventory option. Double click the weapon to equip it. Oh, but it was a it was a bow. I don't, I don't want a bow. better. Ooh, the bear's doing a pretty good job taking me down. The, oh, geez, not her again. Granted, they are level three, or at least she's level three. I don't know what level, or he's level three. I don't know about her. close. Can we keep fighting while I do this? Excellent. That should be better. Watch, I'm gonna have a quest later to fight these bandits. We should hit level two pretty soon. Especially after fighting these higher levels. I don't know why I'm not using Frenzy more often. Worn belt. Oh, I'll take that. Double click, right click. Or do I have to drag it? Shift click, control click. Oh, whoops. Hello, hello, hello. Alright, so we gotta move it ourselves out up here. Oh, that's not oh that's not, <laughs> it's not a belt you can wear. That's just a that's just junk. Oh, I might even be done with the quest. I'm, acquire a new bear pelt, many bears can be, No, okay, so I still gotta kill bears. Yeah, this I I do recall this game having a pretty low drop rate in general.
Give me that level two. Give me that level two. Not quite. No bear pelt either. All right, let's go back up to the other side. Maybe there's some easier bears over there. Right, those are all elementals. What are you? Oh, you're level three. Oh, I can't go down there. <laughs> this is why the click to move is so important in this game. Oh, whoops. He, oh, I got stuck. Because most of the time, it's helpful. All right, well, he's definitely all alone down here. Ooh, there's a big wizard tower. I don't remember that. In a town or outpost, you can invite people to your party by clicking on them. Oh my goodness, the game is like, the only tutorial is, hey, you can play with other people, you just have to go back to a town. Hey, if you go back to a town, you can play with other people. If you've got friends that you'd like to play with, you can meet them in a town and they can form a party. Brutal mauling. Another one up there. Come on, give me that level two. There it is. All right, five unused points. Strength, axe mastery, hammer mastery, swordsmanship, tactics. Oh, tactics. No inherent effect. Many skills, especially defensive skills and skills that aid your allies, become more effective with higher tactics. Yeah, we're not... Let's just do strength. Oh, I can... Oh, that's right. As you spend points, it costs points. Oh, and I can't, I can't undo. That's funny. Oh, attributes cannot be lowered in a mission. Return to a town or outpost to adjust your attributes. Oh, you can adjust them on the fly? <gasps> I don't recall that. That's cool. Do either of these matter with tactics? No, it doesn't seem so. Okay, so we're just going to leave it at that. Oh, well, maybe it does, though. Let's see. You gain 82 health. 88 health. Oh, okay. Cool. So. Oh, that's right. Because I did double up on that one. Okay. I was trying to do the math. And see why I didn't have more points to spend. Still no bear pelt, right? I remember this being an issue with, um, whoops, when Josh Strife Hayes did his worst MMO ever. Oh, bandits just running back and forth over there. <laughs> But yeah, he had an issue with the drop rate not being terrific. But let's be real, it's acquire a bear pelt. Where in other games it would be like, acquire eight bear pelts. Oh, oh, heal, heal, oh, I wasn't paying attention. I was looking at other things. Oh no! Well, everybody's got to experience death at some point. <laughs> That's too funny. Uh, 
Yes. Oh, wait. No, that's a different... Oh. Oh, I respawned in Wizard's Folly. No, I didn't. Wait, what? No, oh, I did. Yes, I did. I'm just down south. That's interesting. I would have thought it would have spawned me at the last one of those I saw. Okay, interesting. By the way, this is, uh, this music was done by Jeremy Soule, and I, I took the time not too long ago. Oh, in this part of the game, the maximum party size is two players. As you progress through the world, the maximum party size will gradually increase. Okay. Uh, I looked up, like, his entire, like, game uh, pedigree. And oh my goodness, I don't remember what a lot of it was, but I just remember being shocked at what games he participated in. His, if I remember correctly, his first gaming gig ever was playtesting Chrono Trigger. I'm almost positive. And then his first game that he did music for was Secret of Evermore. So like, He's been making music for way longer than I would have guessed. All right, Bear, I'm back for my revenge. But I'd like you to come over here so that I don't aggro those bandits. <laughs> he also did some music or the music for KOTOR. He did He did a lot of music that was like, just like, a, the, you know, part of the soundtrack, not the entire soundtrack for a number of games. Like he even did some music for World of Warcraft Mists of Pandaria. And obviously he's credited for music in Elder Scrolls Online because um, his themes were used. So it's funny to me that he's he's got his music in three of the biggest MMOs franchises. All right, I saw a bear running off over there. I gotta get used to the left click. I just want to make sure yeah okay I want to make sure it wasn't like go to so and so and get a uh, uh, you know a skinning knife No chance. Nope. Nope. <laughs> uh, no way.
That's an elemental. Here's the jogging bandits. I'll try and go past them, see if there's more bears over this way. There's one. Whenever you find new skills with this role-playing character, you'll unlock those skills for use with any PvP characters you create. Uh oh. That's cool. Alright, what are those animals? Whoops. Enemies over this way. Just curious. Can't really see them. And there's one bear, two bandits running. Okay. But not this way. Just want to double check. Hide your helmet. Oh, there it is. Yes. Oh, about time. Open oh, the bandits just ran past. Oh no, they're coming back. Run, run, run. Run, run, run. And the bear. Okay. Why doesn't the bear attack the bandits? Why are they in cahoots? I'm trying to remember if the game has any sort of fast travel other than, I mean, I could travel to Ascalon, but I don't know what that would do with my mission progression. I, f I feel like I remember that resets it. But like out in the zone, there is no fast travel. I don't, I don't think. Maybe in later sections. Load screens are quite quick though. It's a little annoying on my end. You wouldn't be seeing it, but um, it does like minimize the game for a brief second. So I get this flash of light or flash of a different screen. It just happens to be lighter right now. Wait, okay, that's a new quest. Take the bear pelt to Allison. The t okay, pick me, I'll be right back. Crap, I should have probably taken that. It was probably kill 10 bandits. Hello there, my name is Al. Okay. Oh, that's a lovely pelt. Wait here, please. All right, here's little Tom's cloak. Can you take it to him? Yes, I can. Let me grab this flower real quick. I feel like this is a quest at some point. Okay, so now we gotta go to Tom. Who is... Okay, that away. Trying to get an idea of how far away it was. Okay, let, hold on. Let's go talk to Pitney real quick. These worms will be the death of me. Oh, okay, good. So yeah, I can I can handle a few worms. Devours, got it. But let's go with this one. Okay, so yeah, we can choose which. Oh, I didn't even see that there was a primary quest. Oh yeah, speak with the scribe in Ashford Abbey. 
Okay. Yeah, we can hit that up. That's closer. Press the L key to open the quest log window after clicking on a quest. In the quest log, you can follow the green arrow to... Yes, I figured that out, game. Thank you. Well, I mean, at least we can definitively say that they made the tutorials better in Guild Wars 2. Though they're still greatly lacking. They're better. I believe there's worms over here. I don't know if they count toward the quest. Oh, that's right. Oh, I'm not fighting worms. I'm getting devourer eggs. Mirak the Scribe. I leave the delving into dungeons to others. To my mind, uncovering the secrets of an ancient text is excitement enough. How may I help you? Unsettling rumors. Devona sent you. Bless her. She, she knows I could use the help. I have an important message that must be delivered to Armin Sabirlin, Saberlin uh, in Ascalon City. I received a vision from Duena. She warned me that something dire is developing among the Char. The city must be alerted. I'll stay here and see, uh, see if I can d uh, divine any more information. In the meantime, consult your map of the Lakeside County to hasten your travel. Press M. Yeah. Okay, so it's teaching me about fast travel, which is quite handy. So it's wanting me to do it now. So let's travel. That helps me... Okay, that helps me confirm that it does maintain the quests that I had. I thought it might. I just felt like maybe if you were in the middle of a quest, it for some reason canceled it or something. A message from Mirak, is it? Let me see that. This is grave news indeed. I hope he's mistaken about this. Duena protect us if this information is accurate. If such a thing is even possible. The King uh, Adelburn has ordered this offensive against the Char not a moment too soon. We must not lose this fight. I tell you, we must not lose this fight. Sir Titus wants you to take on a second profession. Yes! Before you face the Char, right? I think he is right to say so. A second profession gives you access to all the skills and most of the attributes of that profession. This is a big decision not to be taken lightly. You might wish to see trainers uh, for several professions uh, and learn a little something about them before settling on one. Not just any trainer can teach you a second profession, but I direct you if need. I can direct, direct you if need be. I'd like a second profession. Okay, so... I'm tempted to do Monk or Mesmer. Now, <sighs> Monk, it would be nice because I think Monk has some healing potentially, if I remember correctly. Let's just go. I think they'll tell us about it. Let's, let's see Monk. Okay. Brother Minlo. Oh yeah, Minlo. I remember that name. Maybe these aren't players. I have no idea. No, because that's got a guild tag. I guess they're just here chilling out. Can I, like, see? Search? Party search, that's not what I want. Oh, why am I going to the town crier? Oh, grim news from Devona in Ashford. A clan of Grawl has swept north from the woods and into Lakeside County. Oh, okay. Yeah, I can take care of that. Uh, but I, I want to find Brother Minlo. Oh, he's out here? Oh, okay. I did not recall that. You've got a quest. Wow, we're just picking up all sorts of quests now. Uh, if you wish to advance your skills as a warrior, you should study under Warmaster Grast in Green Hills County. Okay. Okay, so he's that way, but I really want to check out the second profession, which is also... Oh, I can fast travel to Ashford Abbey. Ah, ha, ha, yes. Brother Minlo, are you here? Brother Minlo is here, okay. Okay. 
Greetings, my child. Can I help you today, or are you here to offer your services to those in need? A monk's mission. One of the tasks my messengers have been given is collecting the rare elements in Ascalon for study here at the Abbey. My young friend Polus, Paulus uh, thinks he has discovered... Okay, great. Uh, I will grant you a simple healing spell. Yes! That's what I was honestly getting to, is I wanted a healing spell. Show me the light. All right, so Bane Signet deals 26 holy damage, causes knockdown if target foe is attacking, and then spell heals for 20. Can I rearrange these? Yes, I can. Awesome. Yes. Okay, so that heals for 20, like, immediately, or in, like, a second, I guess. This takes two seconds, and it heals for more. Let's try it. Uh, I can't just do it out here. Okay, well, that's fine. That's fine. Okay, we're at a good, we're, we're at a mighty fine stopping point. I'm so excited to be back in this world of Tyria in Guild Wars 1. The music is coming to me. It's filling me with all sorts of nostalgic vibes. I'm gonna do my best to not let the nostalgia impact my uh, judgment of the game. Clearly, it is a little rough around the edges, but so is Lotro. There's positive things to find in Lotro. I think there's positive things to find here. Here's my real prediction for this game. Because in the end of the series, the answer to the question is going to be dependent on what kind of casual player you are. And there is a group of casual players. Actually, I'm going to go on a little mini rant here. I got a comment on my 10 week recap video from a WoW player basically claiming WoW isn't an MMO until you're max level doing seasonal content. That's stupid. And they were also just, they were in general implying, implying that it's not an MMO or you're not playing an MMO if you're not playing with other people. I can't begin to disagree more. So I say that to say this. At the end of the series, there's going to be categories, right? For, okay, if you're this kind of casual player, this is a good MMO for you. Guild Wars 1 is an amazing MMO for an antisocial player. Because you eventually get to a point where you can recruit NPCs to come alongside you to do missions, and they're not terrible. The dual class system allows you to fine-tune your character to be better with, like, you know, getting healing spells for myself, even though I'm a warrior. I mean, granted, the warrior starts with a healing spell, but you know what I mean. You could be more self-sufficient and not need other players. Now, that doesn't apply necessarily to in-game content, but, but I never did group content when I played this game. And I got to max level, which was like 20 back then. <laughs> um, still took a while. It was slow going, as you've seen. I'm only level two now after killing 40 bears, or what it feels like. Uh, so anyways, I love this game. And I... I, I I think it's still real, a really good option for an MMO for some people. So we're going to keep diving into it and we'll see how it turns out. So we will see you guys uh, tomorrow in World of Warcraft. Thanks for watching as always. Adios. Goodbye.